What's up guys, we're back to the channel, straight here back in the video. Today we are here with episode number 3 of the Boston Bruins series here in NHL 23. And if you guys did not see in the last video, it was a tough episode. The Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. President Trophy went to the Avs. Clarence went to the Predators and the Prince of Wales did go to the Canadians. Individual awards, McKinnon cleaned house this year. He won the Art Ross and the Hart. Norris went to Fox. The Lady Bing went to the Brinket. The Calder went to Bach. The Con Smythe went to Gallagher. The Vesna went to Peterson and the William Jennings. Bill Masterton went to Hetherington. Jack Adams went to Seattle coach. The Selkie went to Barkov. And the Ted Lindsay went to McKinnon and also the Maurice Richard. So as I said, McKinnon clean house this year had a really good season with the Colorado Avalanche. We finished last in our division. We kind of tanked. And uh, we got, what, third or fourth overall pick. We picked up, man, I forget who it was. I'll tell you guys in a second. We got picks number four and nine, or four and eight if I'm not wrong. Let me see. Yeah, four and eight. We picked up Caswell, 74-18 medium elite, and Catton, 73-18 medium elite. So we got two medium elites. They're currently playing in the AHL, trying to grind out, trying to make the NHL team here really soon. I'll show you guys the team. We are a buyer, but I doubt it. We're probably just going to either sneak into a playoff spot. I don't know what we're trying to do this year, to be honest. I d literally don't know what we're going to do this year. Quickly, let's show you guys the team. First line, we have Martian, McTavish with Passion. I got a plus five. Second line, we have Verona with Zaka and Boldy. We got Boldy in a big trade with Bergeron. Sorry, guys, for the interruption. My brother just came in. But third line is Jake DeBrusque, Cole Sillinger, Victor Arvidsson in fourth line, Seth Jarvis, Trent Frederick, and Jordan Everly. He was actually an 84, signed him. He dropped to an 82, but that's all right. Defense is now Sandine, got him in a big trade with McAvoy. Dobson and Romanov got them both from the Islanders. And then we got Haig and Mayfield, both signed them if I'm not wrong. And then now we have Lucan and made a really big trade on a good deal, four million for two years. We just signed Thomas Grace to be the backup. So the team isn't bad at all. I quickly, I, I like to do this every year. Go to contract, see if we can give any contract extensions to any guy. So Brad Marchand, see if he wants to come back. Seven million, I mean, that's not even that bad. He is 36, he's gonna stop growing. Let's see if he'll do two years at seven mil. I guess that's still a pretty good deal. Jake DeBrusque won't even let us do it. Noah Dobson, we could give him a contract extension. Five million though, we'll just hold off for now. Let's check if anyone else. Scott Mayfield could be a bottom pair defenseman, not at two million. What about Frederick? He's probably like a fourth line center guy. Two million, nope. Sorry for the inter interruption again, guys. But Robert Higg, I'm not gonna give him that much money. Let's check goaltenders. We all know that Lukanen does have a two year deal, so we can't extend. Let's see. We can't even extend. Um, um, what's his name? Thomas Grace. So yeah, not bad. Our team. I mean, I feel like it's in the middle. Could make a wild card spot. But other than that, I guess we'll just start the season. We'll sim a month in and see how we're doing. Guys, we just got a huge trade from the Vegas Golden Knights. Caswell, our fourth overall pick for Shea Theodore. An 87 overall defenseman. And an 85 overall Anthony Duclair. And a second and third. Caswell, though, is he the good one? Yeah, he is. I wonder, I'm willing to do this trade if we add our 8th one, because he's not as good as Castlewell. Like, Catton, if we, I'll, if we can, if we can do Catton, I'll make this trade go through it. See what they say? Rejected. We're close. I mean, these guys would be so good to the team. I just want to see how much they're making. 5 mil and 5 mil, so it's not that bad. Duclair could be on a better contract, but it could make the team better, and we could have a, a decent playoff run. So if we want to win, this would be the guys to add. Maybe like a third-round pick. It's got to be that close. Let's see what they say. Trade accepted. So I quickly want to see if maybe a fourth would work, or maybe we'll try with a seventh-round pick. Let's see if the seventh works. And the seventh does work, so I think we're going to do that. A seventh round pick. So, I mean, we did lose a good prospect, but we got a really good defenseman back. He'll be good for a lot. And Brad Marchand does renew the contract. He'll be back for two more years after this year. And, guys, I'll edit the lines and show you how the team looks like with Shea Theodore and Anthony Duclair.
Guys, I think this made our team way better. I think we have way better playoff chances. So first line is still the same. Second line is also still the same. Third line, I'll do Claire's playing third line with Cylinder and Arvidsson. And the fourth line is though Jarvis, Frederick, and Abrus. That's got to be the best fourth line in hockey. Defense is now Theodore McAvoy plus three. It's now Dobson, Sandin, then Romanov and Mayfield again a plus one. And then it's still the same looking in with Grace. So we actually do have a few scratch players that are NHLers, like a guy like Jordan Eberle, Hag, and Sprunk. So I'm probably going to try to make a trade for those guys just to send them out. Guys, I don't know if this trade is going to go through, but Sorelli, Hag, and Sprunk are scratch players for Anthony Sorelli, 86 27, a really good centerman. Again, um, he's uh, he's locked up for seven years. If this goes through, that's a steal. Let's see what they say. Trade reject. I still think Sorelli would be an amazing add for the squad. So maybe we trade away, or maybe who's our who would be our fourth line center? If we trade away, maybe him. Like Trent Frederick doesn't have that much value, but it might make this go through. Trade accepted. No way. And we might even be able to get something back. But again, he would be scratched. So I guess. Trent Frederick would be the guy to trade. So that's a really good trade. That's a steal from the Lightning. So guys, this is the team now. It's the exact same first line. Second line's now Boldy, Sorelli with Verona. Third line's Arvinson, Zaka, DeBrusque. Fourth line's Duclair, Sillinger, Jarvis. So that fourth line better go off. Defense is the exact same. That defense is looking good. Now we change from a selling team to try to win the cup. I mean, that was a really good trade. So again, let's sim a month into the season. Here we are, guys, a month in the season where we're going to 5, 6, and 1, 11 points. We're 7th in our division. So, I mean, we could be doing better. Passion Axe doing good 13 and 12, 6 goals and 7 assists. So, maybe we switch Shirelli McTavish. Maybe McTavish isn't ready, fully ready to do that first line job. So, I'm going to switch. Still gets a plus 5, so I'm going to put Shirelli because I think he's ready for that. He's playing the year for a long. McTavish is only 21, so second line, I feel like he'll do better with that. And other than that, I mean, the offense for this line isn't, like, that well at all. What happens if we do this? Like, that fits. It makes the offense a little better. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe put Boldy to the third line. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. Like, third line, Zach is not doing that bad. But, yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do for now. Defense is perfectly fine. It's the only change. I'm going to sim to January 1st. I'll see you guys there. Here we are, guys, at January 1st with a record of 15, 18, and 1. 31 points, still 7th in our division. Like, I don't know what's going wrong. I feel like our defense is perfectly fine. I don't know if it's our offense. Like, there's got to be some way we could fix around the lines that'll be fair. I'll do something around, I'll tell you guys, after I'm done fixing the lines. Guys, I switched around the offense a little bit. So the first line is now DeBrusque, McTavish, Pasternak. Second line is Boldy, Sorelli, Marchand. Third is Duclair, Zaka, Arvinson. And the fourth uh, Jarvis, Sillinger, Verano. So that's the offense. Just try to switch it up a little bit. I totally forgot to show you guys the power play. I mean, it's new now because of the new team. But offense, it's Pasternak, McAvoy, Marchand, McTavish, DeBrusque. The second one is Sandine should not be there. It should be um, <laughs> Shea Theodore. So I'll put him in quickly because he's the way higher overall. Does that make it a zero? It does. So power, second power plays Verona, Boldy, Zaka, Sillinger with Theodore on the back end. So that's the power play. Just try to six, fix up the line. So I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Here we are, guys, at the trade deadline with a record of 32, 25, and 2. So we have a positive record, 66 points. We're fifth in the division, close to a playoff spot. Pashnak doesn't even have a point per game, only 57 and 59, 25 goals, 32 assists. I quickly want to see how Lukanen is doing in the net because you never know. Maybe he's just not doing good. Maybe we trade him at the deadline for a goal that's doing good. Marshan's next with 52. DeBrus 43 is really good. McAvoy, Verona, Zaka. Let's quickly check the goaltenders. A nine, like it's not bad if it's on high scoring. Grace actually has really good numbers. It's kind of funny, but it's all right. If we see a better goalie, we might trade for one. Yeah, other than that, not much to say. Team is playing all right. Like we have a positive record. We shouldn't be doing this bad, but whatever. Again, day away from the trade deadline. Let's do it. We are, I'd say we're a conservative buyer. You know, we still want to win that cup. Uh, just because that Theodore trade just wanted us to win the Stanley Cup. Thank you, Vegas, for that. Miko Rantanen. 
Sebastian Ajo. Bobrovsky's a goalie. He has, like, no value. Seth Jones, Bujnevitz, Bergeron, and Mikheyev. Wheeler, Kadri, and Pareko. But I, look at those top two players. Rantan and Ajo. Like, Bob has no value. They wanna, he wants a top four. How, is it, how are his um, numbers? I just quickly want to see how Bob's numbers are. Because if they're good, man. He, but he might be the backup, though. That's why. That's really good numbers. 915. We might trade for Bob, so I'll get you guys back if I have a trade for Bobrovsky. Guys, we're trying to make a huge trade with the Avs. Mace, I mean, not the Avs. The Golden Knights. Mason McTavish, 8722 medium elite. A first, a second, and a third. And Uku Pekka looking at a good starting goaltender. And we're getting back Sebastian Ajo, 91-27. Really good center. We're just Logan Thompson's just there for the roster spot. This goes through. That's a W trade. Trade accepted. Oh my gosh. Sebastian Ajo is a Bruin. Guys, we're trying to make a trade with the Florida Panthers. Trying to send a second and a fourth in Thompson for Sergey Gabrowski again. Retained at 3.8 million. So that's about. He'd be making about. Uh, about six. Maybe about five million dollars. So not a bad deal. He is an 88 overall, so either, either deal is a really good deal. Getting a second and fourth. We did trade away looking in to get Ajo. So let's see what they say. Rejected. We have to say no. It's because the salary. They're actually doing pretty good this season. So I'm, I don't know. What should we do? Maybe we add another pick? Maybe like a third round pick and we get ruined by a trade. Art Vincent. No thank you. Man, I hate when this happens. All right, guys. Back with the trade. Now we're doing a second, third, and fourth. Home again for Robrowski. We're only retained at 25%. See what they say. Rejected. They don't want to retain that much salary. I mean, I still want to retain a little bit. What about 20%? Rejected. What about a million bucks at least? A million bucks. We have to weed over the salary cap. Like, man, we have to retain salary. We kind of have to. Like you're retaining one mil, that's not even that bad. It is for two years. One and a half. See what they say. Rejected. We they don't want to retain salary. So we're gonna have to send over a goaltender, so the worst goaltender, and a guy who's making like a few million dollars. So is there anybody that's scratched? So if Aho comes and plays, maybe a guy like make like if so centers, let's see here. So if Aho Aho's already playing. We have, oh no, that's four centermen because we traded away another guy. Um, man, this is tough. Do we have an extra defenseman? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all of our defensemen, man. This is tough because we have like no extra players that we need. Who are we? We're adding a goaltender, but we have no goaltenders. Like any anybody who's making money, we'll rate it by money. Is there anybody who's making, like, bang? Oh, it's... Mick, I guess we could trade Nick Lawton 950k. And then... Uh, I guess that's it. Mick Lawton? Will that make it go through? Trade accepted, finally. Bob's our new goaltender. So, guys, this is the offense now. Seems way different, but I think it definitely got an upgrade. Boldy, Aho, Pashanak plus five, Duclair, Sorelli, Marshan plus one, Debrusk, Zaka, Arvinson, then uh, Jarvis, Sillinger with Verona. Defense is the exact same thing in a net. We now have Bobrovsky with Logan Thompson backing him up. So that's the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the team update. We'll see to the end of the season. Hopefully we make the playoffs. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes this game doesn't make sense at all. We got better, but did worse. Finished with a record of 39, 39-4, 82.7th in the division. Traded away our first round pick. Man, sometimes this game doesn't make sense. Like, we got better. We did worse. I don't know. Pashnak, a good season. 79 and 82. Pretty good season. Aho had 75 and 87. Apparently played 87 games. But how many did he do with us? 18 and 22. Almost a point per game. Marshan still put up 72. McAvoy, 51. DeBrusque, Boldy had a pretty good year. Check out Bob did with us. No way. An 894. 
894 horrible numbers from Bobrovsky. Thompson had the numbers of his life. Man, I don't, I don't even want to look at the stats this year. You guys will see it at the end of the awards. Our team did horrible. I'm not going to lie. So I'll see you guys at the NHL draft and the Stanley Cup champion. And as you guys see, the Toronto Maple Leafs are the Stanley Cup champions. Just got to advance a few days because I didn't get the actual animation yet. So it should come up here anytime soon. I don't know. It must be a glitch or something. Because as you guys see, and then finally, the Leafs of this Stanley Cup champions and the Calder Cup champions are the Belleville Senators. We'll check out all the awards. I doubt any of our guys won anything because we were absolutely hot garbage this year. As you guys see, the Leafs won the Cup. President Trophy went to the Hurricanes. Clarence went to the Knights. And the Prince of Wales went to the Leafs. Individual awards, Art Ross went to Shafley and the Hart. The Norse went to Hamilton. Lady Bing went to Gaudreau. The Calder went to Connor Bedard. That's good for him. Consmite went to Nylander. The Vesna went to Demko. William Jennings went to Spencer Knight. Bill Masterton went to White Cloud. Jack Adams went to Chicago Coach. Selkie went to Stan Coast. Ted Lindsay went to Shafley. And Matthews won the Reese with Shard for the last four year, four times in the last four years, man. Matthews is a beast of scoring. So here we are, guys. We're almost at the NHL draft. Just wanted to show you guys that. We'll soon to the draft. Hopefully, um, we don't do it as bad next year. And as you guys see, Vegas jumps from 10 to 3 from our pick and gets the third overall pick. Are you kidding me? And it was supposed to be 10th, so it wasn't that bad. But it jumped from 10 to 3. So we would have had the third overall pick. Man, that is not fun. That would have been better than our last year's pick. Eric Stahl, Corey Perry, Jordan Stahl. Was that both Stahl brothers? They do. Goaltenders. Uh, any big ones? Corey Schneider, Kudobin, Michael Hutchinson, Darling, Enroth, Poulin. That's pretty much it. But yeah, not, not bad. Coach retirement. There you go. Stahl to the Ducks. Perry to the Canadians. Draft interviews. We don't care about that. Here we are, the NHL draft. Thought we were going to do good this year, but that obviously did not happen. So, again, we would have the third overall pick, but no, Vegas has it. So that's not good. We could trade who's pick? The seventh overall pick. That's still probably a really good player. I, I want to trade someone because he's getting older and has a, takes up a lot of cap space. Brad Marchand. Want to trade him. We only have a seventh round pick this year. Seventh and... What about a third round pick? What about that? Marshan and a few picks. Four trade accepted. Wow. I feel like that's a steal. We get the seventh overall pick pretty much for Brad Marchand. Man, what did what did Vegas get? A 78 medium weight defenseman. Well, Michael Misa dropped a four or five, whatever that is. We get a medium top six. We get a medium elite guy. We could have got a 13, 11. This guy's probably medium elite centerman. What is NHL? EA ready. One year. Wow. This guy's probably a steal. I just read it by potential quickly. Yeah, this guy's probably the pick. Probably going to be medium lead. If not, he's probably like high top six or something. Medium top six, 74. I mean, that's still a really good pick at number seven. And that's it for the draft. I'll still take that. A pretty good player. He's going to be a good player for the future. To be honest, I don't think we're going to win the cup till season seven, eight, nine, or ten. Like, we're not doing good here at the start, but here we are at the resounding phase. So, not a bad pick. He could have been medium lead, but he was um, medium top six, but was 74 overall. So, that's a really good overall. Let's see. Wow, I forgot all who he dropped in rating, but he, I'm definitely going to have to give him a contract. $14 million in cap. He wants $9 million. That's cheap. If we give him eight years, easy. Eight years at nine and a half. If he does that, man, we we how many more years? So this is the this is the third season. So seven years that'd be the great amount. If he does, if he does nine mil, if he does nine mil for seven years, that's a steal for Aho. Let's just sim a day, see if he accepts. He rejects. Okay, it must be close. What about nine point two five? Again, seven years at nine. What about nine? 9.25, an extra 250k. Let's see if he accepts that. And he does accept. An extra 250k brings him back. He's literally making cheaper money than Pasternak. That's a really good deal. Anyone else? Jake DeBrus, he's probably going to want like $7 million. Well, four and a half, that's not bad. He wanted way more at the start. What about 
4.25, one more year for DeBrusque. An RFA, Noah Dobson. I mean, he's not a bad defenseman. Four million. We will not have the cap space for that. Scott Mayfield, I'm just going to release. Who's this? Oh, the 74, 18, medium, top six guy we picked. I mean, I think we got to put him in the AHL. I mean, he's said he's NHL EA ready, EA ready one year, so he's probably going to be a good player. Goaltenders. We have Bob for one more year. We might have to trade him away. I mean, he's not going to go for much. Home low starter. We'll have him for two years to be our backup goalie. Could also sign Logan Thompson to be AHL backup. Two years, 700K. He'll be AHL backup or the other guy will. So that's really all we could sign right now. We'll just qualify Dobson. And other than that, we don't have anyone to sign. So actually, we got to make sure that Jake DeBrus signs first. So let's advance a few days, see if Jake DeBrus signs. And he rejects. To be, and uh, Logan Thompson rejects too. Wow. Why would he reject? I literally gave him his money. I think I'm just going to let DeBrus go at this point. I mean, he didn't. I pretty much gave him what he wanted. He did not accept. I do want to bring back Logan Thompson, though. For H, I guess we'll give him 800k. Do you want an extra 75 thousand dollars? Like, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. If, if he accepts this, I don't know. He does. He feel he could impact the NHL roster more if I was giving him a chance to play. You're not playing NHL starter there, Thompson. You're a 79 overall. I think you're gonna be NHL starter. I uh, know you were probably gonna be NHL backup to be honest. So I don't know why you were pouting. But here we are at free agency. Let's see the top player. And we signed Ahu, oh, he probably would have been. Top player in free agency is Mitch L. What? I just realized Mitch Marner. The Leafs did not sign Mitch Marner. He wants $14 million. Wow. Patty Kane's back wants about 10 Nikolai Ehlers wants 11 Wow. Buchnevich wants 10 Druin wants $10 million. Wow. Backstrom wants $10 million as well. Christian Dvorak wants almost nine mil. Travis Konechny wants eight and a half million. Wow. Actually, Carter Verhage deal is not even that bad. Neil Pionk wants eight and a half. Holy man, these deals are crazy. Holy man. Well, Hall, that's a really good deal for Hall. I might have to bring him back. <laughs> Pavelski. Ross Colton wants seven and a half. Wow, I'm just going to sort it by money here. I want to see this. See if I missed anybody. If I missed anybody crazy. Shattenkirk went 7.1. Sorry if you guys heard that fart. Anybody else that wants crazy? In 83, Bernard Docker wants 7 million. And he's an RFA. Have fun, Ottawa. He's still in Ottawa, right? Yeah, he is. Have fun, Ottawa, signing that. Man, I just find this funny looking at... 82 Schneider wants five and five and a half almost Wow, that's crazy. Well, wow, these deals are actually pretty good. Hall, Wheeler, and Hoffman. Heinen still, that's quite a bit of money. So yeah, we have a goaltender. I wonder if we can get an actual good backup goaltender. Carter Hart, the best goalie. Any backup goalies that like around backup goalies that want like no money? That like what about RFAs or Two-way, two-way goaltenders. What about that? There is a 76 the best. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we go for, like, a backup goaltender that wants pretty cheap money. Like, like what about Copley or Vodar? Vodar's actually pretty underrated. Pretty big guy. 1.2. Well, I think we can get Vodar for a backup goalie. He wants 1.2. We'll give him... We'll give him... We'll give him 1.4 for one year. Again, 82. That's a pretty good goalie deal. Think that's worth it and then we would have about three million dollars in cap space i don't know man this is tough like if if we have three million let's just let's just go to affordable if we had three million left in cap space about three around here like we can get mantha nelson that's a pretty good deal let's read it by overall maybe there's an 85 sneaking around there is oh but it's four million that's why Atkinson only wants two million dollars. I'm eighty four. Same with uh, David Perron, but he is older. Still, I think we gotta sign Cam Atkinson here. Three million bucks. 
Wow, three, three million bucks at an 84. That's a steal in my opinion. And we still have to sign Dobson. Can't forget about that. So let's sim a few days, see if anyone signs. Can't forget to sign Dobson because he's a young defense. And Vladar accepts and Atkinson accepts. That's really good. We have like no money left in cap space. We have 1.7. So we'll, again, we do want to sign uh, Dobson because he's, unless there's another guy that is like somehow like, like, Dobson currently wants 5.7 right now. Um, Colin Miller, like, we want, like, Dobson's an 85. Don't think you can get much better than that. So I'll probably make a trade to free up some cap space. I'll catch you guys back when I have one. A trade with the Florida Panthers. Trying to serve Anthony Shirelli again. Only an 85 making 6.25. Trying to get back a first round pick. I feel like this would be a pretty good deal. Let's see what they say. Trade rejected. Come on. I, I want to get that seventh round pick. First round pick. I'm well out of seventh. Maybe this will make them shake their mind, and they do. So we get a first round pick from Florida for Sorelli. That's a pretty good deal. So nice. Now we're gonna send a boat to the almost the end of this to the start of the season and see if we get Dobson for cheap money. And guys, I did not even offer him a contract, but looks like the I don't know why he does this because I have this off, but looks like they signed Noah Dobson. It better not have been to a lot of money. It was probably like a one-year deal. He's an 85, so hopefully it's like four, four, three and a half million. Let's see what they did. Four million for one year. That's not bad, I guess. Not a bad deal, I guess. So let's see how much cap space we currently have. I hate that the um, the uh, computer signs them because, you know, you want to sign them that money. Card probably could have got them for a little bit cheaper. Still four million dollars in cap space. Can't really sign anyone here. I mean, we could, but like no one, no one else good is here. Like, what's the best next card? Schneider, who wants six million dollars. Have fun, Rangers. I think you. I th wasn't you like that last year? Wanted crazy amount of money, and the Rangers didn't sign him yet. No one offers she to them yet. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much um it. Let's send to next season, guys. Uh, the Florida pick, first round pick that we just tracked. Trying, trying to send over to Detroit. For Joe Valeno, 85 overall, making like no money, a good centerman. Mm. See what they say. Trade rejected. It's got to be close. Maybe like a fifth round pick. See what they say. Reject. I mean, they want that one fifth. Maybe we add that one fifth. Maybe two more fifth round picks. It's got to be close. Rejected. We have like no draft picks. That's actually funny. Let's go to Skeeters. They want. They have a really big list. I don't want to give them anybody too crazy, and that's the last player. I'm not giving them Noah Dobson. Sorry about that. Castle is an 81. Again, he's going to make the team this year. Let's see here. Arvinson went down to an 82. So maybe we had Victor Arvinson. See what they say. Trade rejected. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. Maybe we had one more pick. Just one more pick. We had a fourth round pick. That's got to make it go through. Right? Just to get Joe Valeno. Trade accepted finally. Let's go. So here we are, guys. This is the team for next season. First line Pavel Zaka, Sebastian Aho, David Pashanak plus five. Second line's Boldy, Valeno, Duclair. Third line again, it is Oduya. Again, he is the young player that we drafted, what, seventh overall this year in the draft. There's Caswell. We drafted him last year's 83 already with Atkinson. They're going to plus five on the third line. And fourth line is Jarvis Sillinger with Verona. Again, I would do that, but it is not going to plus five. So 74 for him plus five. He's playing 79, so that's not bad third line. Defense is the exact same thing, just so we have Mast on the bottom pair. Maybe maybe he'll turn into something. You never know. Tendies, we have Bobrovsky with Vladar backing him up. So the team isn't that bad. I mean, I really do want to win the Stanley Cup here soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you get more fun over the See you guys later. Peace!